Hey everybody, welcome to Super Comic Fun Time, the omnibus report for the week of October 22nd, 2017. There were very slim pickings this week. I will give a shout out to um, Hellboy in Hell, the library edition, which is coming out on Tuesday, October 24th. I know very little about the comic book character of Hellboy. I saw the movie that was the first one I really liked. The second one I didn't like as well, but I think he's a very interesting character. If you're a fan of Hellboy, uh, let me know down below what I'm missing out on. If you get the library edition, please do a unboxing video of it and flip through, show us what it's like. Um, but the other book coming out this week seems like a real love letter to DC Comics fans. So we'll get our screen sharing going. And what we have here is Grayson, the Super Spy Omnibus by Tom King, Tim Seeley, and Michael Janin. Um, this uh, book uh, weighs in at 792 pounds and collects Grayson 1 through 20, Grayson Futures N1, Secret Origins 8, Grayson Annual 1 through 3, Robin War 1 through 2, and Nightwing Rebirth 1. This sounds very exciting to me as I looked into it. Um, I'm not a, I, I didn't grow up a big DC fan, but of course I knew who Robin was. My first introduction was uh, to this guy, Burt Ward as Robin on the Batman TV series, and it was a great series. When I was growing up, this TV show was on all the time. Uh, sometimes the schedule was, it was on, every Sunday after church. So we'd come home from church and we'd watch uh, Batman. And other times it was on after school, like during the week. And uh, Burt Ward is Robin. He was very easy to identify with. Adam West was a great Batman. And then in the third season, Yvonne DiCarlo was Batgirl. And I, I loved them all. They seemed to have this camaraderie. They, you know, they got along. Um, one thing I like about it, looking back, is when uh, Robin was clearly being mentored by Batman, he would like leap to a conclusion and Batman would rein him in, but Batman would always, he let Robin um, be a person, you know, he, let, he, he wasn't just uh, an adult saying, you know, do this, don't do that. He had raised Robin uh, uh, to, you know, as his war to um, be self-sufficient and, it's clear like he's raising him from the TV series, you know, looking back on it, it's clear he's raising Robin to one day take his place, which I just think that was an, an awesome message. That was an awesome TV show for the time. And uh, it was great. Every, every episode, especially the first season, the first season is probably the best. And I think um, Cesar Romero's uh, premiere as a Joker is as creepy as anything Jack Nicholson or um, that other guy had done. Um, it's it, uh, it, the it. They did these series that were two part episodes, and they leave you on this cliffhanger with uh, Batman in peril, Batman and Robin in peril, and the Joker is singing this freaking opera. It's it's awesome. <laughs> I get, you know, I that that is probably the single creepiest moment in Joker history and it gets overlooked just because of how campy the TV show was and then when it failed well it didn't fail but it did cause this thing that was called Batmania that lasted about a year the show lasted about two more seasons and after that Batman became kind of silly and people were kind of embarrassed that they bought into it so in the 70s um Dick Grayson in the books he went off to college and he decided to stop being Robin. He decided he, need, he needed time away from Batman. And this, of course, is the thing, the father-son relationship. The, the son needs to grow away from the father to find his, his purpose, to, find, to, to become his, his own man. And so uh, most of the 70s, I think uh, there were very few appearances uh, of Robin, if there were any at all. And then in the 80s, when Marv Wolfman and, uh, oh, I got to do a better job at this. Anyways, when the Teen Titans, the new Teen, Teen Titans were started, um, Dick Grayson uh, reassumed the mantle of Robin. And 
un until DC decided that Batman sh and Robin should be a thing again. And Marv Wolfman said, I got an idea. Why don't we let Dick Grayson change his identity and he can stay on the Teen Titans and you guys find a new Robin for Batman. And um, that new Robin, it wasn't Tim Drake. Oh, again, I got to get better at this. Um, I got to write more of this stuff out before I do it. But anyways, um, they introduced a new Robin and um, the old Robin, Dick Grayson, uh, assumes the mantle of Nightwing, who is a superhero from Krypton that Superman would tell him about. And he really looked up to Superman. Um, previous to Crisis on Infinite Earths, um, oh, the return of the arms. Ah, 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 get those out. Um, there's another one. Breathe. Um, so, um, um, um. The <laughs> what happened is uh, there was Crisis on Infinite Earth. Prior to that, Nightwing was a character that Dick Grayson met in the bottled city of Candor, which is this thing that Brainiac saved one city from Krypton and shrunk it down into a bottle. I, I know very little about it, and apparently you can go in there and have adventures, and Dick Grayson met this character named Nightwing there. After Crisis on Infinite Earth, uh, Nightwing was this vigilante-type Batman character on Krypton that Superman told Dick Grayson about, and trying to break away from Bruce Wayne slash Batman, he chooses to become Nightwing. And I guess eventually, DC wanted to kill off Dick Grayson. Not sure exactly why. For many DC fans, he Dick Grayson is the linchpin of the DC universe. He's been around since 1940. He was introduced uh, very early on in Batman's run to you know bring the kids in. Kids like being empowered like that. They like to imagine themselves working. You know, when you when you're a kid, you want somebody there to kind of keep you in line, but you also want them to like keep you on a long leash. And so that's what Batman and Robin was. And the kids, you know, he was the kids ride along character. And so he's known just about every other character in the DC universe. He's kind of the linchpin. Why DC would ever want to kill him off is a mystery to me, but they decided that instead of killing him off, they would put him into a super spy book i guess in the new 52 again i don't know very much about it it looks really good if i didn't already have a bunch of omnibuses i've already shown you and more on the way i would snap this up in a heartbeat um, tom king he seems to be a very acclaimed writer right now he's done the vision for marvel uh, in 2015 uh, a year or so before that he did um Omega Men, which was very highly acclaimed. And now he's doing Mr. Miracle, which all the reports I hear of it are really great. And I'm planning on getting all of these books at some point. But I, I can't read everything at once, or at least right now I can't. Maybe one day my mind will expand to the point where I can. Um, so again, this book is coming out on Tuesday. And if you do get this, if you are a big, um, I'm about to say Tim Grayson. If you're a big Dick Grayson fan, if you love this book, comment down below. Tell me what you liked about it. If you get this book, you know, show off some of the pages. I love, I love the art here. I love how serious it looks. It reminds me a lot of the 1960s uh, spy craze with James Bond, and then you had Agents of Shield and uh, the Man from Uncle, and uh, I guess you did. You had Nick Fury, Agent of Shield and The Man from U.N.C.L.E. and all of these things going on in the, in the 60s. And this reminds me a little bit of a throwback to that. I really, you know, maybe I should just put all my other books aside and get some Tom King books. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know below and remember to like the video. We're going to bring this one to a close. S subscribe, share it with your friends, um, and let me know what you think of... Uh, of Dick Grayson's Super Spy. It sounds pretty awesome to me, and I'll probably end up getting it at some point. So again, love you guys. Um, again, do the, do the like, and uh, 
keep reading comics. Thank you. And oh, I should I should unshare before I say goodbye. <laughs>